Hello and welcome. So here I am playing Yakuza 0 once again. Uh, I'll probably record for about half an hour or so. And so I recorded the last time I played. I haven't played since I last since last time. Um, well, I did a little bit after, but all right, so I'll fight these guys. But I mean, between. I didn't play like last weekend, is what I mean. And uh, I was watching the movie, um, Cannibal Apocalypse earlier. 1980s uh, exploitation, uh, like a horror kind of movie. When, when cannibal movies were, were still kind of a, a big deal. I think at that time though they were they were still kind of they were kind of dying out. Um, but Woods it has a uh, John Saxon in it. Um, he was an underrated actor, but he, he he's a I always like watching him and. Uh, but yeah, why not talk about Bob for a bit? Because I know him from uh, Enter the Dragon. Black Christmas and you know the original Nightmare on Elm Street. You know the original Black Christmas, the original Nightmare on Elm Street. So he's been around. He's been doing you know kung fu movies as well as horror and um, I don't know where I need to go. So I'm in the right place. That's good. Um, but yeah, I, you know I'll come back over here. I'm gonna. Just, Gonna walk around a bit, but I enjoy watching his movies. And like I say, he's an underrated actor, and oh, it's fun to watch him. And and uh, he, he certainly uh, has taken on a variety of roles, which is also cool about him. And uh, I think he also did martial arts for a while. He was able to kind of incorporate that into some of his movies as well, you know. I'll fight this new a rich guy. Um, I mean, more so in like his kung fu stuff than than in action movies and, and most other things. But even in Cannibal Apocalypse, he, he kind of did some of that. There are some action scenes in that movie. I, I enjoyed that movie. I, I would go back and watch it again because it's it's a different. What I like about it is that, like, most cannibal movies take place, you know, strictly in a jungle. But what I like about that one is it starts off in the jungle, because... And that, in the beginning of the movie, Saxon is, uh, in the Vietnam War, you know, fighting for the U.S. And then, uh, you know, later on, he it's in, in an urban setting, and there's not too many cannibal movies, I, I think, that, that take place in urban settings. At least not from that time, anyway. So it's unique in that aspect as well, as, as, you know. And basically how people can become cannibals is they get bit by other cannibals. So it's almost like a, a virus, which is actually kind of a unique way as well, because it seems before, you know, you know cannibals will just eat people and that would be it, and, and nothing else happened to them. But like, if someone got bit, there was a possibility that they could become a cannibal. If they didn't die before that happened, you know? Because they don't reanimate, they're not zombies, they're... Whatever, I feel like whenever I, uh, I talk about stuff, I, I, I'm not just like... ...concentrated on fighting. But I managed to meet, I, I beat that Mr. Shakedown guy once so far. Uh, that's something I probably will attempt again. Um, but I think it's better if I'm prepared for it rather than, you know, I, I record it and then, and then I lose. I feel like it's not really, you know, so it's better to save before I do that and then I can fight. And in case I lose, at least I won't have to, I can load and, and, and regain the money that I lost from the fight because if you lose those fights with the Shakedown character, Mr. Shakedown character, you do lose all. You, I think you lose all your money, you know, in the in the game anyway. Um, 
Well, it's nothing ahead. I'm gonna have to fight oh, oh, oh. these guys, I guess. Oh, guys are easy. Hooligans, eh. It's always fun to do. I'll do that. Do like John Saxon action right here. I don't know. Because he, you know, he didn't welcome to spring break. He's like a late 80s slasher film from the late great Umberto Lindsay. Yeah, he played a police officer in that, and what he had done in, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, and I think... I don't remember if he had a similar own Black Christmas. He's someone else as I've seen that. I do want to see that one again. But yeah, he even, he did a couple of police type of characters, so I guess he was kind of typecasted in a way. Um, but still, he, I feel like it took on a variety of roles, which is, you know, probably part of why he, ha he has such a long-spanning career, is that... Uh, he was in some weapons as well, and uh, yeah, he's been around. That's for sure. I don't know what to do with those ruby, ruby plates. I haven't really looked into it, but I'll, I should at some point. Because they might be worth some money, I don't know. Well, hooligans, huh? I know I can avoid these fights, but I feel like, I feel like getting some money from them. In your face, man. Get some. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I want to talk Um. Oh, what's interesting is this weekend I, I did I guess I did kind of a... a Apocalypse Weekend. Because I watched four movies of like Apocalypse. Yeah. So, so I watched Girl Fall the Gifts on Friday. You know, after I had uh, done some work. And then yesterday I watched The, the Ultimate Warrior with Theo Brenner, which is a kind of a post plague movie. And I also watched Flesh Eater, a Lady Eddie zombie movie, which was a lot of fun. I, it's. I, I, I was gonna get around with that a while ago and I never did, so I figured, yeah, why not? You know, and that was kind of a... Uh, it features the original zombie uh, from Night of the Living Dead, uh, Bill Hinesman, he... Or Hinesman? I think it's Hinesman. He directed and starred in it. And uh, then today I watched Campbell Apocalypse. So yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> I kind of did a theme with it, which I don't do too often with movies. I mean, yeah, why not? You know, it's it's one of those kinds of weekends. You know, it's you know, it's kind of slow and relaxing, and you need that that apocalyptic uh, feeling to kind of you know. Oh, that guy's a taser. I was gonna hit him, but I didn't get to. I'm gonna take him out first, I guess. Come on, man. I was meant to block him, but that didn't really work out. There. I'm trying to go back to where I was before where I need to go. I figured out I'm going to do a few fights. I actually didn't intend to do that, but whatever. Yeah, I should do that more often, do like theme, you know, weekend or whatever, for if I'm doing like a double feature or whatever, you know, maybe I'll do that at some other, at some other time, uh, 
Well, usually sometimes, well, sometimes I'll watch, like, let's see if it's winter. I'll watch a winter theme movie. I mean, not, not all the time, but, you know, like, Black Christmas, I wouldn't mind seeing that again, actually. The original one. So maybe I'll, I can acquire a copy of it and, and watch that, you know, in, in the coming month or so. Because it's been a while since I've seen it, and, uh... Yeah, the fun fact is that it's actually Steve Martin's favorite horror movie. Uh, or that it is, I mean, not actually, but you know what I mean. Which is interesting, because... You wouldn't really think that he would watch that kind of movie, you know, being a, a comedian, but, you know, everyone has... ...their tastes. Should probably fight these guys. They look like Yakuza, but I'm not sure if they are. Yep. Yeah, Black Christmas, I, I... What a great... Slash film. We didn't welcome to Swing Break with John Huxley. I thought that was a fun movie. You know. Or, aka Nightmare Beach. And there's not too many... Horror movies that are set on spring break either. That's one of the few. I mean, you can watch it any time of year, but you know. Well, it's interesting because like, because the killer is actually uses like a he has a motorcycle and he uses his uh, it's like the seat that has electricity. It's like an electric chair seat. He uses to kill people with. <laughs> it was different in that in that regard as well. Let's take on Makoto now. Yeah, I'll do that now. So I have to go up onto the roof, I think. Cause I was gonna record this bit, maybe something else as well. どこの組の問い。俺は Okay. Are you sure about that? I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, uh, maybe. I don't know. あいつはわざわざお前がここにいるって俺らに教えてくれたよ。せやからお前らをここに起こした。はあ。あの子はどこにおんねや。Yep, big fight. 
How did I know? You know, actually I have, I have an idea here. But I should probably do this first. And... Do some damage this way. That sounds kind of... Oh. Well, I was trying to get the sound back on. I don't know why it's skipping like that. I guess it's a little bit better though. Sorry about that. I just figured out uh, how I'll plug it, plug it back in, and that seems to have helped. I'll do that. Yeah, that's what I like about the Brink Town's, um, you know, fighting style is that it's good for, you know, large groups of enemies. So see when you're dealing with a bunch of guys that have weapons, it's, it does make it easier. I mean, you know, you may get knocked around a bit, but you have an easier time if you, if you, if you do this. So if you just want to get this over with, I mean, who doesn't, you know? <laughs> That's so funny how they, like, react to that. I'm probably going to want to switch now. I think I'm okay to where I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I thought I froze there for a minute. You just got Charles Bronson, man. What are you gonna do? よな他のもんに聞く。その前にお前には死んでもらうけどな。はよいや。ああ、たまん。六本木セバスチャンベルの天望テラスだ。オッケー。This is time to go there. Well, this is interesting because I don't know what to expect now. I don't know why it's pointing in all these directions. If I can find the Sebastian building, if I... I don't know if I'm in the right place. Um... I don't want to watch an erotic video right now. But that is always fun. It looks like I have to take a cab to get there. So I guess I will do that. I when I was gonna go to, uh, I'm in uh, Sunbury anyway. I'll fight this guy. Oh, he has a bat too. Oh great. Well, two two can play that game. Knocked it right out of his hand. <laughs> what do you mean, let me go? I mean, you're the one who wanted to fight. Okay, now it seems really weird 
to be here. I guess I, I guess I'll go this way and then, yeah. I don't feel like fighting a drunk right now either. You can, um, but I think I'd want to get there as soon as I can. And I hope I'm going to the right place. I don't know. Let's get into a fight. Oh, this is embarrassing. Um. Yep. I might just end it in a few minutes anyway. Sorry, lady. Uh, okay, so I looks like I don't know where that is, but <sighs> oh, this looks interesting. I have to fight these guys as well. Oji, Makimura Makoto-san wo otsure shimashita. Yoku yatta Shibusawa. Jiki wa kagashira koro de kimatta na. Who is the new captain. I need that no cure no go this. After you are come on, do you make me no go to Sasai the Moraneto? So that eh? Magimura son Karano Stotsbo no can de or any Hanashina are te Totua Natagata no is Rishimas. Anna Tachi. Doesn't seem useful to them now. But okay, whatever. Jokin <laughs> その人たちは私の兄を殺しました。That's true, they did do that. 
あの人は私の兄ですそれであなたの手下の首を三つ私の前に並べてください堂島組長それが空の一つをお譲りする条件ですなチーミールだけやで。So I have to fight these guys now. Oh no. A lot of them are wearing the same clothes, but yeah, I guess that makes sense so that they wouldn't. Gotta do, do it. Lots to worry about. <laughs> Pay the price. One guy left. Actually, two, but I mean, still. He's a good puncher. I don't think he could stand against that. Okay, now what? Oh. Did he even shoot him? Oh, he shot her. Oh. Now what? <laughs> so I guess now she won't get what she wants. Do I have to fight these guys? Oh, I don't know. That'd be a tough fight if I had to. I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> this they're leaving I, I guess they're leaving That's what's up. This is exciting.
Oh, it's gotten out again. Yeah. Get some. <laughs> That's funny. Just knock a, a lot, bunch of guys over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Do that again, I guess. I didn't mean to, but whatever. And I know, like, the break ticker might, might be kind of cheap for this, but it's the most effective, I feel. I'm glad I'm not playing as Kiryu on this, because he, he doesn't have the uh, breaker moveset. Or play, you know, fighting style, whatever. I mean, I meant to. Oh, who's this? I fight this guy now. Not that tough. I think I'll equip this though. Money just <laughs> go all over the place. That's funny. Oh, maybe I can end it with this. Yeah, it wasn't even that tough. It wasn't that difficult. Or if this is the end of the game, I don't know. Because it seems like he would meet up with Kiryu, or, you know, but I don't know if he, if he does. This is sad. Are you still alive? Yeah. I mean, just hope she doesn't lose, die from blood loss at this point. I mean, oh. I thought these guys too? I don't know. Oh, they're going inside. I don't know how much longer she's going to last. I'm 
<laughs> You're gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. That's gonna move that at my head, so that doesn't matter. No, not really. Orega あの一つぼは周りの地上げが相当進んだ時に偶然見つかった土地だ。町のど真ん中にあんな橋切れの土地があるなんてことは、お役所でさえ気づいてなかった。それが。そのまま知らなかったことにして、再開発計画を進めること
Yeah, it might be the end of the game. I don't know. I'll save over the data. Previously, Tojo Kai, Saikyo to Iwareru, Doji Magumiga, Doksen will Nerau, Kyodaina Riken, Kamurocho, Saikai Hatske Kaku, Sono Kagi o Nigiru, Karano Hitotsubo no Shoyusha, Makimura Makotoa, Tachibana no Ikiwakare no Imoto Data.極道たちは特殊な生い立ちを持つ兄と妹に情け容赦なく牙を向く殺された兄の復讐を誓った誠もまた道島組の教団に倒れ暴力の闇に飲まれていた しかし、カムロ町が今まさに道島の支配下に置かれようというこの日極道の掟から外れた二人の男がそれぞれの思いを胸に伝説の幕を開けようとしていたそう、I so think there's one more chapter looking at my phone and there's one more after this but this is basically an overview of what has happened Regarding Makoto, yep. Finale, black and white. This is kind of exciting. I wonder who I'm, I guess I'm playing as Majima again. I kind of want to. I, I, I think I prefer him over Kiryu. I feel like his story is a bit more interesting. Um, but still, Kiryu is pretty good, I mean. And I, I feel like his character is a bit more, like, relatable. Yay! That's good. Okay. Okay. という状況よ。セラさん。セラ。マジマ。マキムラマコトの場所を撃つ。But we don't know if she's alive. But I guess it's too risky like you said. Yeah. 少なくともここより安全な場所だ。I don't know how she got roped into this, but okay. Yeah, I guess he'll have to. He, he gonna, he's gonna rip her open too. <laughs> Damn, well, I hope I don't have to sit around and be kind of. I want to be able to do some stuff with Majima. これ以上あの子を黒の世界に踏み込ませたらあかんのや。道島組がおる限り、あの子は意識が戻ったとしてもまた狙われる。はい、right、that's yeah. See you guys later. Have fun. Majima. I don't know what I have to do now. Kamurocho Saikahatsu Keikaku. Imamode Sansa Karano Hitotsubuni, Ashi Hipparodaga, 
いや、<笑> なんの話だ。風間組の始末です。立花不動産。日教連。奴らの陰で糸引いてたのは風間の頭ですから。道島を裏切ったけじめは Maybe. <laughs> 登場会から綺麗さっぱり毛さねかぎり切るみたいな羽根っかりがまた出てくる。ほら、徹底的にやらしてもらえますよ。親父。今度の若頭は血の毛が多いぜ。There's Kiryu. I don't know what he, what he's doing there. Koko ni ita no ka? Kiryu. Nishiki. Makimura Makoto. Mada mitsukara ne. Asia gai no renchu ni mo tei kashite morotte ru ga. Iman toko tei gakari mo nashi da. So ka. Na Kiryu. Omae. Majima Goro ote otoko shitte ru ga. I don't think he does. But he did fight Nish Kiyama or whatever. Huh, huh. I don't know if he's talking about Kiyama. そんな死んだ立場のためにも彼女だけは何としても守りてそうだな知らねえ番号だ誰かな I wonder I don't know either here so thanks for watching and be sure to like comment and subscribe